Hey guys, it's late, um, and I got distracted, because distractions happen. Um, so I have two loads of laundry done, the whites and the colors, and I just have to do my jeans and my work shirt, because I work with toilets, so I wash them with my jeans instead of with my underwear. I'm weird that way. Um, so I didn't get that table cleared off. I didn't get the plant table cleared off. I did get, I don't know if you can even see that. Hold on, let me spin this. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, that's bright. All that stuff that was down there by that blue thing, the nest. There's still a bottle of hot sauce there, and a random, random cardboard box from a shoe box. And then a couple things that I put in the chair that I'll sort out tomorrow. Um, my desk is a mess. Happens. My landing zone where I put all of my recycling and stuff is crazy there are I didn't even know I had that many boxes waiting to go out like <laughs> that's crazy so much cardboard giant pile of cardboard two bags of recycling which are just like paper bags and one bag of garbage I haven't even finished going through everything I think before I go to bed, I'm going to police the floor for the random wrappers and things. Um, and then I'll take a shower. It's really hoping to be to the point where I could vacuum. Or um, sweep and mop maybe, but I got a lot done. I didn't get very much done, but I got a lot done. <laughs> Got a lot more done than I would have otherwise. So, I mean, I don't feel bad for not getting all that extra stuff done. Um, I also, this is how I got distracted, was watching some Fly Lady Cat videos and started a control journal. It's like all the flies are attracted to this light. Um... A fly lady control journal so it is the fly lady control journal is um, a spot that you can go that has a reference of all of your to-do lists sort of so the beginning is you write down your routines I just kind of started writing stuff down based on when I heard her talking about it and let's see Routines. Nope. Oh. What if we start by what it means to be flying? Flying means that you've shined your sink. There's like a Fly Lady Cat has a video about that. It seems excessive, but I kind of get it. But I have like no counter space, so shining my sink is kind of a pain. Um, mastering the four cornerstones, which are habits, routines, um, and so you start by getting your sink shined, and then every night you go to bed and your sink is shined, sink is shined, and then, uh, then after you can do that for a couple days in a row, maybe a week, um, then you start the four cornerstones, which are the routines, uh, a morning routine, which is, you know, make your bed and do your hygiene and swish and swipe the bathroom. She has you wipe out your bathroom sink every morning after you're done hygiening and swishing your toilet. So you always have a nice clean toilet. Get dressed, eat, uh, or prepare your food. Um, put the dishes away, the clean dishes, whether it's dishwasher or not, 
and then <clears throat> the breakfast this fly is driving me nuts I'm gonna end up inhaling it uh, wash your dishes that you need to for the morning or set them to soak until later um, check in on your day your plans weather what meals you're planning to bring everywhere and then if it's part of your morning routine meditate or move your body and then um, laundry because some people do laundry every day there's like a set a load goal figure out how many loads of laundry you have every week and then divide that by I think it's by five so you can have Sunday is no laundry or you could do laundry on Sunday if you want to and then you could even have Saturday be a no laundry day because you've done laundry all the rest of the week. Um, then there's a paper routine, which is you go through your house and find all your papers, everything that looks like it's paper, you know, receipts, bills, junk mail, whatever, and then you put it all in one spot. So like. A laundry basket you just roam through your house and anything that looks like a, a magazine or a bill or an anything that came through the mail or anything that your kid brought home from school and you put it all into one box and then um, the paper routine it's part of your daily routine system and you just try and get one inch and you pull off one inch of papers and you go through that you know you uh, does it dispose of it does it need an action right now like signing permission slips or um, is it something that needs to be filed like an old bill or something and then uh, then the other part of paper routine is just sort it before you bring it in every day um, and then there is an after dinner routine which is make sure all your dishes are clean um, and then wipe down your sink, your counter, and your stove. Just like a quick wipe. Degrease. Pick up the mac and cheese. And then you check the floor for things. Um, just spot sweep. And if something got spilled sticky, you like clean that up. So that's the four cornerstones. It's basically your daily routines. And then um, once you have mastered your routines then you get to move into weekly plans and the weekly plans are every day has one thing designated for it um, things that are designated are home blessing hour um, there is a free day which you only do your daily routines there is a planning day which is like you go through your fridge and your pantry and your freezer and you make uh, menu plans or plan the menu meals um, you set your grocery list that you need to finish off your meals you do your bills your budget your checkbook um, or even just sitting down and going through like some of the paperwork and writing that stuff into your planner could be your time that you sit down and sign all the permission slips whatever um, another day is an errand day that's the day you go and do all your shopping and dry cleaning or whatever um, that's when I would probably get my gasoline but fly lady cat says to always make sure you fill your gas up every Friday so that you always have fuel on the weekend in case something goes wrong. Um, and then there's a family fun day and a spirit care day, which could be like um, you could do you could do church or worship if that's what you do. It could be a day of pampering. It could be the day that you go for um, if you're a runner. It could be your distance run, your long run for the day for the week. It could be whatever you do, um, massage day, whatever you end up doing. It's whatever makes you feel connected with the things that you need to be connected with. Some people, it might even be the day that they get out into the garden because, like, that's kind of what makes me feel better. 
So then you have got your sink, sink shiny. You've mastered your daily routines, the morning routine, laundry routine, paper routine, uh, your evening routine, and your, oh, I didn't say what your nighttime routine was, I don't think. So there's the after dinner routine, which was the, you do the dishes and you clean the sto stove and you check the floor. And then there's one before you go to bed, before you go to bed routine. And that's like, make sure that you've got a set bedtime. And from that, you plan out how long it's going to take you to do your bedtime routine. And you could even start your bedtime routine like as soon as dinner's cleaned up you can go take your shower and turn into your PJs and then sit around you know and then for the bedtime routine it's like uh, make sure that you've got your bedtime set make sure the dishes are done make sure the sink is shined and swap out the towel um, deal with your clothes that you're getting out of for the day hygiene yourself pajamas, whatever you're going to do, um, plan and even for some really early risers, set out the clothes you're going to wear the next day and go through your planner and check what the next day's plans are going to be, what the weather is going to be, double check your email, um, make sure your planner's update, check a couple days out, whatever you got to do. Uh, so... You've done um, shine your sink and your daily routines and your weekly. I'm thinking of them as routines because every week you do the same thing. On Monday you always do a home blessing and on Tuesday you sit down at your desk or whatever. You know, it's basically a routine, but they call it a weekly plan. And then uh, after you sort that out, then you get to move into zones. And I kind of, this is where, the zones is more where it, you get to customize it to your, your space that you live in and your values and whatnot. So zone one is a entry or your front porch. And for me, I've got, um, for my porch, uh, cobwebs and leaves and check on the plants and any of the things the plants are leaving behind. The entryway is um, like cleaning the door and the glass that's in the door um, and cleaning. For me, I have like a flight of stairs right inside my door. So cleaning the stairs between like decluttering them and actually getting the hair and dirt and stuff off of them. And then um, at the top of the stairs is where my recycling and trash sits. It's also where my shoes are. And there's two rugs up there that get dirty pretty fast. So that's all zone one. And then what you do when you're doing the zones, you pick four items of like five to 20 minutes each. And you do those four items for the week because each week you get a new zone. And that's just like your high high focus, deep clean, but you start by decluttering everything. And then once your zone is decluttered, then you can start really cleaning things. Zone two is kitchen and dining. I have like kitchen is cobwebs, gle grease splatters, your microwave, your oven, your, for me, my islands. Um, going through my spices and my oils, reorganizing my Tupperware, um, deep cleaning my stove and changing out the foil, and deep cleaning the floors. And then for the dining table area is the table, the chairs, and the floor. So that's going to be super easy. Zone three is bathroom plus one room. Um, so I've got a couple ideas for plus one. So for the bathroom, it's cobwebs take inventory of your hygiene products um, clean the shower tub wipe down the entire toilet not just the outside and the rim which is what you do daily is the out inside and the rim 
is what you clean daily. So this would be clean your whole toilet. Uh, declutter the bathroom, so clean all the things off the counters. For me, I have shelves in there, and that would be um, reorganizing the shelves and dusting the shelves. Um, maybe even purging things that are on the shelves. Cleaning the floor, which is sweep and mop. And for me, I don't have ventilation in my bathroom, so there's like these weird drippy things that start happening on the walls. So I have to wipe the walls down from time to time. So I wrote that down as something that I can do in that zone. So for my plus ones, um, the big room that's out, I don't know if you guys know what the layout of my apartment is, but it's like the big room that I walk through between my living kitchen area and my bedroom. I call that the big room. So sweeping and mopping, getting cobwebs, um, declutter, which is, it's kind of the spot where I've got a bunch of textbooks that I need to sell or give away or whatever. Um, a bunch of random household goods that I'm not using anymore that I need to sell or donate. Um, deal with the trash and the recycling. So that's two weeks in one month for sure that the recycling will go down to my truck. Um, out there there's a table, so clear off the table, make sure that's good and landing zone. So I've got um, a couple shelves out there where I keep tools and gardening stuff and um, there's like a spot where things just go. There's like spots everywhere where everything collects. It's just crazy. I might have an ADD. I don't know. Um, another plus one is the stall that I have out in the barn. So gathering up all my tools and putting them into the stall so they're not out in the weather. Um, rearrange the stall and do a big turn on the compost. That's pretty much like one day that would be good. And then storage. Up here there's crawl spaces and I have some stuff in storage so just checking in seasonally to make sure the rats haven't moved in. Purge things, organize things if things fall over. Um, this seems to be the zone where I have the most projects. So I've got like sell and donate projects, my books, my little motorcycle thingy, my um, rabbit hutch, there's a coffee table and a green dresser that I'm planning on getting rid of, and fix it projects are my bicycles and uh, get my fish tank really cleaned out so that I can get fish again and any garden work stuff. So that'll be probably more of a seasonal thing, plus on Sundays. Um, zone four is a bedroom. So I kind of broke this down based on the type of furniture in the area of the room. So my bed is checked that the seasonal bedding is correct, like not too hot, not too cold. Um, my nightstand is purge things that are in it, like um, the books, bring the books back to the bookshelf, um, dust, any random snot rags and things that land on it, clean them off. Um, I have four dressers in my bedroom, and um, I figure that each one can be its own. So you just go through the drawers and make sure everything's folded right. Um, swap out seasonal clothing, make sure that everything's folded and put away, and then dust the tops, clear and dust the tops. And then uh, for the floor, vacuum the floor and under the bed. Um, also under my bed I have some bins, so I've got purge and fold seasonal and clean the bins, like tip them up and let the flies and cat hair out. <laughs> And then the windows. There are so many flies in this building. It's crazy. So, um, yeah. So if I do like a, a monthly run through the windows of getting the flies and the cobwebs and cleaning the glass. Oh, the glass probably doesn't need necessarily monthly, but probably. The flies are crazy, though. Crazy. And then for this day, um, zone four, for the week of zone four, 
I put in extra credit, which is get through everything and get the cobwebs because there's a lot of spiders here too. And cobwebs add up really fast. And zone five, which is the last zone, is um, living room and office. So I have it, you know, uh, vacuum, the couch, the cat tree, the alcove, um, any stray dust bunnies that are in the corners and stuff. So basically vacuum the corners, um, clean underneath the couch, and vacuum out the windowsill because there are a lot of flies. Um, floor is sweep and mop, general declutter, cat beds and blankets, which is uh, pull the top layer off. If I have um, more layers to put down, like I did the laundry and wash the cat towels, I put towels down so the cat sleeps on towels. Easy to wash. Um, then I just basically swap them out. Um, and then my desk is part of my living room office and get all the papers off my desk to the landing box so that they can be part of my paper routine and uh, dust and organize. And then I have my bookshelf, which is any seasonal decor, dust, like way up the top, it's taller than me, and purge and sort, um, any books and things that I've got in there. And then uh, behind that orange curtain is more storage and pantry. And for that I've got organize and purge and inventory because there's a lot of, a lot of times I just set the, um, the mason jars down. And actually there's spots on shelves back there that the mason jars go. It's just a pain in the keister. So anyway, so that's what distracted me, was writing all this stuff down and sorting out how I'm going to fly. But other than like sweeping and mopping, my kitchen's clean, pretty much. I'd cook in it. I'd cook in it anyway. Now I do still have that other island to clean and my stove top and then around the sink to clean out. That's about it. And then, uh, but we're going to wait until we're done with laundry before we do all that. So tomorrow I'll get um, all this cat bedding, probably vacuum the corners, vacuum underneath the... Uh, it's baseboard heating with um, hot water, hot water baseboard heating, so it's not gonna light your couch on fire. Just cool. Um, so I just got a vacuum underneath that to get all the the fluffies and the flies out, and then uh, clear up the other cat beds and all the spots where the cats hang out, and just kind of swap out those towels. It's been a while. It'd be good to just kind of have them cleaned up. Uh, yeah. So that's it for now. Tomorrow is finish up the laundry with all the cat towels and my jeans. I think I should have my jeans done tonight. Um, and then... And then... Run the vacuum around out here in the main room. Vacuum the top of the stairs. This is like, there's a couple little carpets there. And um, get my bedroom floor ready to vacuum in there. And then swap out the bedding. Yeah. Here's to Sunday. I'm so glad it's a three day weekend. It's amazing. Yeah, I like it. I still have to shop for next week, but I like it. Alright, have a good night.